Welcome to Starfleet Cadets. This is Old Bob 10025, and we are playing Agents of Yesteryear TOS Time Agents. Free to play, by the way, too. Uh, I wanted to actually prove that you can actually do this free to play. Not, you know, you're not going to be the, the DPS monster that everyone is that's been money, but it's still going to be fun nonetheless. You can still play this game and do everything inside the game without spending money whatsoever. So you just go and have fun and just go do what you got to do. Um, you know, if you want to spend money, that's fine too, but uh, this is one of the best games I've found out of all the years I've been playing um, online games is that you can play this game without actually spending money. It just takes a little bit more time, a, a little bit more, well, a lot more grinding to go ahead and get the, uh, um, to get the Zen, 500 dilithium ore, or one Zen, which is one cent basically, but still, hey, you, uh, you get the ore, I mean, they give it to you pretty much. So it just takes time for you to go and do this. But anyways, let's go ahead and do Agents of Yesteryear Tangled Webs. This is the is this up, the fifth? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the fifth episode. Damn. The fifth episode of Agents of Yesteryear. We're going to get going on it right now. Things are heating up with the Tholians. Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements toward Federation space. And they're refusing all of our diplomatic hails. We're doing all we can to prevent a war but it's not looking good. I want you to join a task force I'm assembling. If this goes south, I want my best people on the front line when it does. It's an unsurveyed territory of the Ryan sector to assist Starfleet. So let's go to accept the rewards are pretty good, actually. Mid Array Mark II, which uh, gives me shield restoration, which is good. I need better phasers that, and then more to lithium ore. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially at my level, level eight. Stay safe out there. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Let's go get out of this here and then go to... The Federation shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the timeline and I think I've found the problem. Two years ago, a Tholian colonial fleet was destroyed. The Tholians blamed the Federation, and increasing hostilities have ultimately led us here. This is some... Okay, looks like I gotta go to uncontrolled territory. I've pinpointed the incident in question, setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiance encounter with the Tholians. Okay. See me there. Let's go. I'm ready. When do I get there? Oh, I gotta go there. Okay, so hold on one second. Let me go to my map here. Here we go. Bounce off the sun. <laughs> I still can't get over that, actually. Oh, man. So now I do have some... Um... Oh. oh, that sucks. I can't actually show you this, but um, now I do have some um, dilithium. I'm able to actually do some things with this character, but I'm, I'm going to save the dilithium because I want to use it for Zen because I have to get the... Um, go from 15 million credits to 2 billion credits um, cap that they have, which is... 500 I believe it's it's 500 um, it's 500 Zen which is five bucks basically but still I need to um, go ahead and uh, get that going as far as going on exchange getting the Zen using the lithium and, and get a process going because 500 Zen at eight Zen a day if I make 8,000 uh, that lithium ore is a lot that is gonna take some time um, for a month and a half to go ahead and do if I do it every day with 8,000 um, like the other thing. but once you get into level 50 to 60 or 65 you have a system going that you can literally just make that no problem um, that's what I have on my on my other characters I pretty much make about 20,000 dilithium a day uh, now nah, about, about 10 to 20 depending on what I'm doing and then that's really easy to do I don't have to any problems with it so it works out pretty good works out pretty good there we are in the Ryan sector now. I wish, um, I don't know. I wish they did more. I mean, the map is beautiful. I wish you had, like, all the different space stations and all that kind of stuff out there, but I don't know. I guess they don't. All the other ships are out here, though. That's okay. So this is episode five. Um, gonna tangle with the Tholians. Let's see what that's gonna be all about. And almost there. I'm gonna miss the ship. What ship you get at level ten for tactical officer? I hope it's not like the uh, 
the Defiant, because I really don't like the Defiant. I'm not a big fan of that one. I'm not a big fan of that one at all. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's coming up soon. Yep, looks like they're right there. I'm going to miss this ship. Almost there. I raised my uh, my ability to fight a little bit better with my shields and all that kind of stuff with different types of deflectors, so that's good. Hopefully there's not that much battle in this. Okay, Tangle Webs. Let's go do this one. We've arrived in 2268, and not a moment too soon. The Nakul are clearly out for blood. Tholians are quite xenophobic. They may feel the Federation is part of the problem here. We're being hailed by the Defiant. I'll remind you that our orders forbid us from telling them anything specific about the situation. I recommend deflecting their questions until the situation here is resolved. Agreed. Good to see you. We're in a real tight spot here. The Tholians were taking a serious beating when we reached the system, and the other ships opened fire on us the minute we dropped out of warp. Mind lending us a hand until we figure out what's going on? Sure. Here we go. This, this was a Tholian colony fleet. Wow. See if you can take a little pressure off. We need to firm up our shields. Go for the uh, frigate here. Alert. Though. Warp. Warp reach on it. Attempt. The aliens have disabled the Tholian flagship. She's in trouble. Sir, if the Nakul kill the Queen, an entire Tholian bloodline will be wiped out. Ship integrity compromised. Enemy boarding parties are beaming to the Tholian flagship. Come on, I can make it. Estimated Tholian casualties are in the thousands. Vengeance. Vengeance for the children. ships of the cow. <clears throat> Took a little bit of damage to the side because of the explosion, but that's not too bad. Come on, come on, I can do it. That was a good shot. Turn around. There we go. Wow, look at this fleet. Oh my god. Don't you have any idea what's going on here? 
There's nothing on these aliens in our computers or why they'd attack the Tholians, or us for that matter. Uh, later, Captain, I'm going to stop the borders on the filling ship right now. I need your help in Overwatch. Air fleet orders already. Um, all right, do I'm what you need to do. Join on there. We'll talk about all of this when the shooting stops. Deal? Deal. Sounds good. I know it doesn't feel great keeping information from the Defiance crew, but believe me, it's for the best. I'll monitor the situation here while you assist the Tholians. Okay. Team over. I got my full team. Well, yeah, my almost full team. I've found appropriate transport coordinates on the Tholian flagship. Hopefully you can convince them that we're not at fault here. If the Tholians go to war with the Federation now, it would be devastating on a galactic scale. Such a show the interior of the Tholian ship is too hot for us. You need to put on EV suits before going out there. There should be extra suits in the crate over there. It'd be logical for us to equip them. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so Once you have equipped your environment suit, turn it on to prepare for hazardous activity. Okay, so now we got an EV suit for everybody, actually, which is good. Okay, so... Well, it's kind of sad, though. They don't really show you how to put it on. But uh, the EV suit's just kind of like that, like this here. There we go. Oh, oh, God, yes! I love these suits. They're so cool. Okay, let's go give... Uh, let's go put them on each guy here. Love these types of suits, man. So cool. I mean, just look at them. Go on, these are awesome. Okay. The tail lights in them too. That's awesome too. Okay, let's be with the link ship. I'm reading multiple Nakul hostiles, sir. They're all over the ship. Clear them out. Reading only a few Tholian life signs. I'm detecting numerous Nakul life signs, and more are on the way. Nakul reinforcements are on their way to your position. Stay alert. Having a hard time actually figuring. Okay, nope. Yeah, it's just it's me. Hard time trying to figure out like where I gotta go for this. Okay, yeah, the green. That's where it says to go. Nope. What the hell? How these doors work? How oh, they work, man? Oh my god, I don't know. Don't know. There we go. Okay. Makes sense. The power level on the flagship just spiked. Something's wrong. And I doubt the Tholians are to blame. A lot of dudes coming. Or Tholians. Or spider creatures. ship's self-destruct sequence. We've got to shut that down, and fast. Okay, let's do it. 
Captain Akul have triggered this ship's self destruct Thank you. I already got that. First, let me take this and let's trigger the self defense and repair console. Console, my friend. Console. Okay, I like I know Golian technology. How do we know anything about this? not done yet not cool what a bunch of jerk offs the last remaining tholians are close to your position and more not cool are on their way i'd hurry if i were you I think it just looks awesome. Accolade friendly fire, cool. Humanoid commandment. Why did you kill your kind? This is irrational. Explain. Federation, Naku, all humanoids are the same. Chaotic, irrational, peaceful, then not roaring, then you leave. That's the same as Naku, Majesty. We are not your enemy. To your eyes, we're all humanoids, but we are not of the same mind. Those you call Naku kill our people. Our children, all are dead. Our sisters must know. Leave now, Federation. Leave us to our final task. We come to save you. You cannot help us. Too late. The hatchlings slaughtered. The colonists lost. Nothing can help in the face of this terror. We must send our message. Others will come. Leave now. You know, I did like the Tholians, um in the original. I don't know what the hell they... I guess they only showed the top part of them. We've got enemy ships on an intercept course, including a dreadnought. We won't last long against a force like that. Continue to fight Nakul. Keep them from us while we contact our sisters. If you speak truly, you will not betray us. We won't let you down. We better get back to the ship before that Nakul dreadnought comes into range. A Nakul dreadnought with my utility cruiser. This is awesome. I like these suits, but I'm keeping these suits. I've been monitoring the Tholian Queen's progress. She hasn't been able to send the signal to her people. Orders? We'll protect her while she works. Daniels, the message must go out. Okay, let's have a little chat. What's the situation here? Where did those alien ships come from? I'd like some straight answers for a change. Look, Captain Myers, I need to know, and... And I don't need to know, right? Yep. I read you, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. That big alien ship is still heading our way. Let's focus on that. Here they come.
We just appeared. What? What? I'll put you in a in a hole too, buddy. Put my shields up. It sucks being tractor though, man. It really does. Because you're trying to keep like certain uh, facings, basically. Shields going. Equalize my shields. Turn around, and I got him. There we go. More ships inbound to our location. Jeez, really? The alien dreadnought is concentrating fire on the Tholian flagship. Your weapon test upgrade, that's not bad actually. Yeah, I'm all out of shield regens. That's not good. Okay, I don't know where that guy went to. There he is. Reinforce my back shield. Here we go. Federation, you have proven you are different. Rational. This pleases us. We have sent word to our sisters. The Naku will pay. The Federation will not. Now, vengeance for the slaughter of a generation. Vengeance for our children. Yes! The Queen's message has been sent through subspace and... Yes! The timeline is correcting itself. Good work. Now, we just need to help with... Oh, no. The Queen is going to full impulse. She's going to ram the not cool dreadnought! This is cool. Our engines are still down! We can't escape! Scanning. I can't tell if there are life signs over there or not. Defiant appears to be phasing in and out of local space-time. The interaction of Nakul chronal energies with the Proto Nebula has made this area of space very unstable and prone to rifts into other dimensions. Ooh, this reminds me of the uh, one 
But the one episode of TOS where they went in and out of phasing, that was, that was actually a good episode. We might be able to get a lock onto their crew with the computer's assistance and perform an emergency beam out, but we'll need to act fast. No. I'm afraid that this is their fate. This is one of the hardest things about being a temporal agent. We can only make the changes we have to make, not the ones we want to make. I'm afraid there's not. History states that the Defiant went missing, only to be found here weeks later by the Enterprise. Yep. Though they're lost, we now know that they played an important role in keeping the Federation safe, in protecting the timeline. For what it's worth, I will be sure their heroism is included in my report. Wow. This is cool. I like how they have like the subplots within the plots. That's awesome. The Tholians will remember this as well. This encounter may lead them to be more inward focused, avoiding conflicts with the Federation for the time being. At the very least, they will know that it wasn't the Federation that was responsible for the destruction of their colony convoy. Um, see do that you do. Let history never forget. All decks have reported in, Captain. We're ready to return to our own time on your order. Make it so. That's cool. Damn, that's cool. That is, that's awesome. I love that. Captain Archer had similar concerns when I worked with him. We often disagreed, but in the end, we were able to work past our differences and do the right thing. I hope you and I can do the same. Leaving Defiant to her fate was a hard choice, but it saved untold billions of lives. That has to count for something. True. Um, I did get some consoles, which is nice. Uh, Delitium ore, and I also got some other things too, but let's go. Congratulations, to Lieutenant. Nope. Level 9. We have a situation in the Caleb system. Well, let's the cling let's, on. That's I for next episode. Battle Caleb. Uh, let's go to my skills and see what I got here. I got some space points. I'm going to improve my torpedo skills. Purchase that. Obviously, this whole thing I can do. Okay. Also, I'm going to. I'm gonna keep these suits. I love these suits. They are a freaking amazing. Um. That's mine. Get these suits back on here. Get that one. I like these suits. I might just keep one actually, because that's all you really need. That was just for the uh, for the episode itself, basically. It's fine. It's not too bad. And uh, oh, okay. Well, I gotta. Okay, I gotta take it off him and put it on Tarsi there. Or yep, Tarsi. Of course, he deserves it. Okay, uh, let's get you some here. That let's give my styles to me. I'm gonna change her. I'm gonna change her outfits because I don't like how I can't tell them apart. Engineering is always gonna be uh, gold, and then red for tact for for tactical and science is always gonna be that one. And uh, Tarsi, you're gonna get some shield regens. There we go. That sounds like a plan. Put this up here. Okay, get my daily thing more, refine it, and then go to Bifrost, and I got some stuff actually, which is good. That's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, place this here. I got uh, sort of a better phaser, uh, twin phaser Mark II compared to a Mark II, so it's the same thing. So let's replace that with this here. Get that there. Yes. Uh, this is a particle generator compared to a shield regeneration, shield regeneration. Let's get that one. Don't have a tactical console yet, and I don't have this yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to keep that one. I'm going to salvage that for later. He's going to go ahead and discard that for now. I am going to keep that one. What is this one? Oh, this is a R and D tech. If you guys know what RD Tech Super Projectile Weapon Technology like upgrades, you're able to upgrade your your items. Like let's say I want to upgrade this one here, you basically put um, the upgrades here, and then once you get past this, it raises it up in into um, uh, into the next level, or it can actually into the next grade. Like there's there's grade of white, which is common, green uncommon, um, 
rare is pink, I believe. No, not pink. Um, rare, very rare, and then and then exotic, which is yellow, basically. But you generally don't want to use anything of those until you hit, until you actually do get to level uh, twelve items, and start and they start dropping level 12, 12 items, or you can make them, or you can buy them. Because otherwise, you're just wasting the dilithium in order to get that up there. And the cool thing is, it actually increases in grade, which is pretty cool. Um, once you actually start pumping some stuff like into it, you put them on the market, you make a lot of money. But that's another video that I'll be doing later on. So we got some stuff here. We got some good things here. So that's good. Torpedoes, everything's level two, which is nice. The shield, the shield batteries definitely did help me actually during that battle. And now we just need tactical, tactical one there. Okay, so um, guys, that was uh, episode five of the free to play Star Trek Online. I'm now level nine, and uh, next level, next game, uh, I'll be level ten. I'll be out into the real world. Um, I'll be uh, guppy into a big pond, a big ocean, actually, I guess. So thank you for uh, thank you for actually watching. I do appreciate it, you, you guys. Um, give a like if you guys can, and if you have any questions, put them down below. It doesn't matter how weird they are. I'll try to answer them as best I could or can. And just have fun with it. Have fun with the game. It's free to play. You can do anything you can. I want to prove that with this game. I'm level 10 in, what, six, uh, almost six episodes. That's not too bad. And six hours of playtime, literally. I mean, uh, maybe seven hours with, you know, kind of adjusting some things and stuff like that. Not too bad. Uh, once you get up there, though, you start getting expertise like crazy. And you really don't have to worry about it. I never worried about, like, expertise with my other characters, so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But, hey, anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you on Star Trek Online.